How are we doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to take a look at the Yezu ADMS system software for the FT60R. This is made by RT Systems and rumor is that the ADMS software that you get that comes from Yezu is a cut down version off the website for certain available radios like my FT300, the 200, FT5. They're all made by RT Systems, but it's to a lesser degree. So let's get this opened up and see what we got. Okay, so it looks like we got the cable. Feels like a good quality rubber cable, not some cheap plastic. It says RT Systems right there. Congratulations, you're on your way to easy programming. I hope so. Give you a cell phone number and some times. The software is supposed to be compatible with Windows and Macintosh. I hope so. A little getting started quick guide. Let's just love it. RC system. Check with your Yezu radio dealer. Apparently they make a whole bunch of things other than programming software. Except only the best. Programming Yezu radio since 1995. Okay, I can take that. This is what I need. Let's get the disc. I have a uh, Windows 11 hex core computer. Uh, I think it's 16 gigs of RAM, terabyte and a half hard drive. So we know we're going to have space for this. And uh, let's get this installed and see how hard it is to install it. So they get a decal in the back. No return after installation. Serial number for installation enclosed. Must be in the little cardboard container in there. What are they afraid people are going to program the radio or turn it? Would somebody be so cheap to do that? I guess there's folks out there that would actually do that. But anyway, so there is another option. If you had the programming cable for the FT60, there's a uh, program called FT60 Commander. Uh, I haven't downloaded it, haven't played with it, but uh, I just ordered the RT system. Since it's going to be the full-blown software with every available feature for my radio, which I want. At least to be able to see what there is and uh, do things like that. So let me get this out of here and see what we got and uh, get it into the computer. So we got the disc. Looks like a little bit of information burned to it. Looks like they make up their own disc. Can't blame them on doing that. Buy the blank white CDs off of uh, eBay from China. That I don't want to share. Install the CD or download from RT Systems, huh? Okay, put the disc in my computer. Not seeing anything pop up on the computer yet, so I guess I gotta go into uh, my computer and figure out what's going on. So there we are. Look over here. The ADMS 1J. Click on that. Let's see what happens here. Here's one of my photos. I took a Lake Champlain about a year or so ago. Let's wait for the program. There we go. Program come up. Do we want to allow? Yes, I can't see over the camera. English. Next. Scroll down. Read all the fine print. Accept. Next. Okay, I guess I got to add in the serial number and the email uh, <laughs> email address. I'll be right back. Okay, entered in the serial number, my email address I'm going to use and it tells me to FT program package to RT system dash 5 on my hard drive, yes. Add a shortcut to the desktop of course. Next. <laughs> Check for updates. Update. Drag the icon on the other side of the screen while this is doing this. Updating has completed. Okay, here we have FT60 programmer. 
Okay, RT Systems. Now I need to go into the other room and uh, get my radio and hook it up. Hopefully the cable uh, is automatically recognized by the computer. So here's my FT60R. Remove that top rubber boot. The cable's going to plug into there. I believe we power it up and uh, it's just... Anyways, we'll proceed. Excuse my messy desk, so I got the radio hooked up to the cable, the cable plugged in the computer. The computer beeped like it recognized the cable. Let's go to the software. And we got settings, and this says, I believe, download, upload, communication file, edit, communications, get data from radio. Insert the cable and speaker mic jack, press the monitor, T, call while holding the power on. Wrote what? Hold on, let me read this. Okay, I am so sick of Yezu. This is just as bad as the FT70DR. You had to put a cable in, hook up the DC cable, plug the programming cable in, remove the power cable while holding down a button. So now I gotta insert the cable into the radio. I gotta read this. This is so stupid. Why can't I just plug the radio into the the cable into the radio? Read from the thing like you do a Baofeng, a TYT, my Anytone, anything like that. Okay, so the monitor T call button. I had to look it up in the manual. Is this top button here? Then I gotta rotate the dial. The F8 clone. Press and release the FW key to begin clone mode. Verify that the radio only displays clone. Press OK to begin reading from the radio on the button. Now where the hell is the FW key? Well, I hate to be a rude man, but I don't have patience for stupidity like this. And of course the FW key is the bottom one. Of course it says it in the print of the key, so if that ever gets worn off, your SOL. So let's give this a try. I had to push then monitor the key button when this computer thing came up rotate the dial I did it to the right to go to clone push an old FW and then another pop-up window on the screen of the programming software pops up and says push TX long enough until it starts reading getting data from the radio which is doing right there and there it is it's populating what I have in there let me shut the light off on the camera I don't know if the camera is going to focus on that, but I have Killington 88, Roller 045, Equinox, 52 Simplex, a bunch of these in here I just put in manually just to get started with the radio. Down here are some uh, public service. Down here are some fire police ambulance that just went by. Down here in the Hunter Group, some airplane stuff. So. Anyways, I'm going to redo all this. I'm going to have 0 to 100. My 2 meter stuff, 200 to 300. Or, well. So 0 to 100 will be my 2 meter frequencies. 100 to 200, my 440 stuff. Then from there, I don't know what I'm going to do. I usually start right around 300. Um, if this thing will do 220 and receive and all that other stuff, I start those other 220, 900 megahertz handband stuff in there. Then I'll put this public service stuff way down and airplane stuff way down towards the bottom. Usually start at 800, 750, something like that. And uh, so there we go, a thousand memory channels. But anyways, I'll have to shuffle a lot of stuff around here. So anyways, let me get programming and uh, report back with some progress. Now how long will the battery hold the charge while I'm doing this? Okay, so I made some changes. I had a few more 2 meter repeaters over top of the 440 stuff. And again, you got to hold down the monitor T button, rotate it to clone, push and hold the FW while still holding the monitor KW, TW, Tangle. And then it'll go into receive mode, the radio will, and then you hit OK on the screen and it starts sending the information to the radio. Why Yeza does this stuff bass backwards, more difficult than what it should be, is beyond me. 
you know, my Initone, I just send it, receive it, read from it. None of this, hold this button down, hold that button down, we're turning this knob, turning this on, need three hands. It just doesn't make any sense. This is what I hate about Yezu. I love this little FT60. It's got a phenomenal receive and this extended wide band, not as wide as the FT70 I had last year, but it's not bad. But uh, anyways, this programming software, this is the worst part about the whole damn thing. Okay, so after hours upon hours upon hours, it's three, four, five, six days later. I just come in here 15, 20 minutes, program a bunch, 15, 20 minutes, program a bunch, 15, 20 minutes, program a bunch. It's really quick. You just enter in the frequency, receive frequency over here. All this stuff in here automatically populates. I just enter in the name and check the tone and then I came back in over here and added if it was in a bank. So we have 2 meter and 440 repeaters and I go into 220 stuff. Yes, a radio is not going to transmit on 220, but it can receive 220. And then some 900 megahertz ham stuff, as well as ham simplex frequencies. Back into satellite FM repeaters, the various repeaters. And we have a break. Starting 400, I got my Green Mountain National Forest, Agency of Transportation, all those frequencies into there. Fire police ambulance, railroad. I got a cousin that works for railroad. The uh, MERS stuff, different dots, GMRS, FRS. Put the weather in there, even though I have them in skip mode. Skip over here. So, a um, bunch of more JP, Killington, Okemo, Stowe, Sugarbush, all that stuff. Stuff to listen to. And then we get down here and we start getting into the military aircraft. Vermont Air National Guard, military, Civil Air Patrol, all the different airlines. And that goes all the way down into, I know I'm scrolling fast, Memory Channel 1000 and that leaves off something here in Vermont, I can't remember what it is, at 1000 megahertz. So I added it for the last frequency to top it off. And there you go. It's pretty slick. But if you go into settings, go into preferences, sometimes when I've done different things, these default things automatically change or get blocked off so they're not available on the screen. I don't know why that does that, so I just go in here and unclick them, hit apply, hit OK, and they all come back onto your memory screen, programming screen. So don't know if that's a fluke of the system or what it is, but anyways, very cool system. Like I showed you there, you got to hit the communication, send data to. Yeah, the cable's not hooked up, it knows it. So, got to push the monitor to T, uh, call button, uh, rotate to F clone, hit the FW. Receive will call them up when you're in receive mode. I think this is for transmit. And uh, yeah, then you hit uh, OK up on the screen and it sends everything to the radio. Depends on how much stuff you have programmed like I do. Only about three minutes or so to get everything to the radio. And then it just sits there in clone mode. You shut it off, disconnect the cable, and you're done. And here you are, just like I am. All set up and all programmed to listen to everything in my state. I still have probably 350 channels that I could program. But with what? I don't know what to put in there. Any ideas? Give me the, some comments in the comments section below. Anyways, hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Don't forget to support this channel. Everybody be safe. And hopefully I'll catch you on the band somewhere.